let's see problems related to template number 4 and template number 5 the problem number 1 is number of solutions for x1 plus x2 plus x3 equal to 20 where x1 greater than or equal to 0 x2 greater than or equal to 0 x3 greater than or equal to 0 so we have direct formula for it isn't it that is if you have x1 plus x2 plus x3 so on xn uh, equal to r where each xi greater than or equal to 0 for this kind of problem solution is n plus r minus 1 cr isn't it where n is nothing but number of variables this one and r is nothing but sum so let me relate this formula to this problem we have x1 plus x2 plus x3 equal to 20 then n equal to 3 and r is nothing but 20 if i apply the formula then it will become 20 plus 3 minus 1 c r r is nothing but 20 it will become 22 c 20 so remember from now onwards n c r always equal to n c n minus r so with that concept this 22 c 20 will become 22 c 22 minus 20 that is nothing but 22 c 2 so this is a final answer let's see condition number 2 in condition number 2 we have x1 greater than or equal to 2 x2 greater than or equal to x3 greater than or equal to 2 we don't have any formula for that isn't it we have only formula for x1 plus x2 plus x3 so on xn equal to r where each xi greater than or equal to 0 then how to solve this problem so for that what i do is i take a new formula instead of x1 plus x2 plus x3 how i relate this new formula to the old formula you just see x1 plus x2 plus x3 equal to 20 is given formula isn't it where x1 greater than or equal to 0 x2 greater than or equal to 0 x3 greater than or equal to 0 instead of x1 x2 x3 i take three other variables y1 y2 y3 so y1 corresponds to x1 and y2 corresponds to x2 similarly y3 corresponds to x3 and i initialize y1 as x1 minus 2 y2 is always x2 minus 2 and y3 equal to x3 minus 2 if i do that then y1 plus y2 plus y3 equal to x1 minus 2 plus x2 minus 2 plus x3 minus 2 isn't it that means x1 plus x2 plus x3 minus 6 that will become 20 because x1 plus x2 plus x3 is 20 20 minus 6 equal to 14 correct so finally i created a new equation y1 plus y2 plus y3 equal to 14 okay and conditions are y1 is x1 minus 2 if x1 is always greater than or equal to 2 then x1 minus 2 is always greater than or equal to 0 isn't it similarly x2 greater than or equal to 2 then x2 minus 2 also greater than or equal to 0 x3 minus 2 also greater than or equal to 0 and x1 minus 2 x2 minus 2 x3 minus 2 are, uh, 2 are nothing but y1 y2 y3 isn't it you see then y1 is greater than or equal to 0 y2 is greater than or equal to 0 and y3 is greater than or equal to 0 so i got a new equation and this new equation has a one to one correspondence with x1 plus x2 plus x3 equal to 20 we'll see why example you have a solution 5 5 10 here so 5 plus 5 10 10 plus 10 20 this is one of the solution for x1 plus x2 plus x3 equal to 20 then by removing uh, 2 from x1 uh, 2 from x2 2 from x3 you form y1 y2 y3 but they are all single values correct whenever x1 is this particular value y1 is also a particular value called 3 y2 will become a particular value 5 minus 2 3 and x this y3 will become a particular value 8 example if you have combination 4 4 and 12 then it's 20 right automatically you will have a combination if it is 4 4 minus 2 2 and 4 minus 2 2 and 12 minus 2 10 since y1 y2 y3 are 2 less than the corresponding their counterparts then 2 2 4 4 plus 10 14 what i want to say is there is exactly one to one correspondence between these solutions and these solutions so what sir why are you doing that whenever i do that then i can solve the problem by solving this problem because the solutions are same if i count these solutions it is same as counting these solutions 
let me count these solutions so what is this problem of y1 plus y2 plus y3 equal to 14 where y1 greater than or equal to 0 y2 greater than or equal to 0 y3 greater than or equal to 0 then the number of solutions are directly formula n plus r minus 1 cr what is n here n equal to number of variables 3 r is nothing but sum the sum is 14 then according to the formula it will become n 3 plus r 14 minus 1 c r r is nothing but 14 then it will become 17 minus 1 16 c 14 16 c 14 is nothing but 16 c 2 isn't it so because n c r equal to n c n minus r in that way we can solve this question